Okay, here it is. It is Friday, May 18th, and it is about 5 o'clock. I just got home from work, and it is a gorgeous, beautiful, sunny day here in Omaha, Nebraska. The only problem is it is extremely windy. So hairstyles, forget about it. Put something in your hair, hope for the best. Um, anyways, before I get started on the video, I want to say that I just finished reading a great book by Jennifer Finley Boyland. It is called She's Not There, A Life in Two Genders, and I highly recommend it. It is her memoirs of her transition from childhood through to adolescence and adulthood. Um, and it is just filled with a lot of really good information for anyone that's just starting, thinking about starting, having gender issues, or if you're a family of somebody that is in that situation. Great book. Find it, read it, get it now. Okay, that being said, um, I had a very dark week this week. Um, and it was in part to that book. Reading it was a wonderful experience. But it also brought to light a lot of childhood memories that had been buried. Um, and they had been buried for a reason. I think anybody that reads this book is going to see a lot of their same experiences in Jennifer's story which I think is the same for any one going in transition, obviously with different outcomes. Um, my experiences were never good growing up. And it really made me deal with some issues that I don't think I wanted to deal with. And it brought up memories that I wasn't ready to deal with anymore. But that I think I needed to. And it was good because they're all issues that at some point in time need to be addressed, need to be worked through. I need to be resolved to some extent or another. But the worst part for me in reading the book was getting to the part where she was having her surgery. And it really started me thinking of my personal journey and how far I'm going to be able to take it. Don't get me wrong, surgery was always the ultimate goal. And that is still the ultimate goal. But I don't know whether it's in reach for me or not. And that information put me in a bit of a downward spiral. It brought up a lot of emotion. A lot of emotion. And it really started me questioning whether this journey was something I should have been on or not. And I think that everybody that starts on a transition at some point in time will reach a point where they're questioning what they're doing. And for me, that was this week. 
I don't know how far I'm going to be able to take the journey. I don't know if I will ever be able to get to surgery. I know that that is my ultimate goal. But I really had to deal with the fact that that may not happen. And what was I going to do about it? And it was a really hard process for me because truly I had never thought of the what if. I've never dealt with the fact that maybe it will not ever happen. In my mind, it was always going to happen. So, again, downward spiral, very emotional week. Um, and if it wasn't for the support and love of my family and friends, the outcome of this week may have been completely different. I am so grateful for all the people around me that support me, that understand that this is something I need to do, and that love me no matter what, no matter where I'm at in the journey, how far I go, whether I ever have surgery or not, they are there and they want me to be happy and that's all that matters to them I know God started me on this journey and he has a plan and I just have to listen and I have to follow and I will get there no matter what I will get to the end of this journey whether that journey is surgery, whether that journey is never having surgery, I know God is in control. And I know this week he was telling me to be patient. And I know he was teaching me lessons to show me that he's in control and that he's going to take care of everything for me. And it really took my friends to help me to understand that. They were there for me to talk to. They were there to lend opinion. But most of all, they were there to say, what can I do to help? And even though they can't really do anything to help me to get to my ultimate goal, that question right there was what turned my week around. What can I do to help? for me had all the power in it that I needed to know that there are people that will support you that are there for you and that will see you through so Surround yourself with people that love you, that understand what you're going through, even though if they don't understand the actual details of what you're going through, they understand that you need to go through this. Rely on your friends and your family. 
and make sure that you're doing the same for them when they need you. So I'm running out of time, so I'm going to cut it off now. I'm going to leave you with this. For every dark place you come to, if you surround yourself with people that love you and trust in God, light will always shine through. And that's all I'm going to say. Leave feedback. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you need any information from me. And we'll talk to you soon. Lots of love until next time. Bye.